Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Samsung Digital Inverter Eco Bubble 9 Kilo washing machine. It's got this bizarre, I think, feature where it has a second door indoor. I'm sorry, I'm just sighing to myself because if you've forgotten to put something in, you're allowed to pause the machine and use this door. I've shown this in a previous video. It works, the machine works absolutely fine, but you can see from the staining here and staining here and running down the front of the machine and whatnot, and the water leaking out as I tap it, that there is an issue with this door. And that issue, I believe, is only this inner plastic piece, top and bottom. It's all completely cracked, like quite quite badly cracked. So that so the, the fascia here seems okay. It's just this piece here, uh, crack running along there. So I think water splashing as it does in a washing machine going in here, running down the inside of this glass, as we can see, over a period of time then, actually within a wash that builds up runs down this bit of glass it's the same glass the other side obviously goes in here gets stuck inside this plastic which is a front fascia of the door fills up and then drips out so it flows over and fills up so what i'm going to attempt to do today i think it should be simple enough is to take off the door simple up to a point take off the door very very carefully because it has a wiring loom inside it because Normally the interlock's over here, but this one has another interlock for this guy. So there is a wiring loom within the door. Um, there's a sensor here of some description and another something here. And I think this is an interlocking something here as well. Ta-da. I could probably do some of it in situ. I could probably do some of it in situ, but I want to clean the whole thing. So... I know that there's a screw in here and a screw in here because I've picked one of them off. There's probably some more screws hiding below. There is a drain hole down there. I'd say that's a long time blocked. Another screw over there in the center. I can't see where the wires go, but they must go somewhere. We'll get it off and have a look. Maybe there isn't. Maybe there's like a magnet interlock thing. Don't know, we'll find out. Let's get some screws. I'll go for it hot. Normally these things kind of latch in position, so. Hopefully by taking the screws out, it's not gonna just fall off on me. I don't know, we'll find out. Put them up there, and then this should lift out a bit. Yeah. And there is, look at that, they're going in through the bloody hinge. How are you going to get them out? I don't want to break it. I have to figure this one out. It's trickier than you'd think. Ooh, top down maybe. I'll get the top off it. So I spent a few minutes at it. I took the screws out of there and there, as you saw. And then I took them out of the door. That didn't help. Then I took them out of up on top to try and get the front fascia off. And I could see down and there's wires going in from above, but I don't see any clips on it. You up to speed? So let's have a look and see if I could just look behind the door seal, which is, you know, the simplest way to see these things. And it's not a big deal, hopefully, to get in here. Somewhere. There we go. There's something weird about this machine because it's quite new, but it's also a little bit gross. I don't know why it's gross. It doesn't make sense. Um, too much soap, probably one of those kind of things. Now, do you think they'd put a clip? You think they would, but they don't. Some kind of a, like it must be possible to do this easily. I'm just tracing it with my fingers up inside there. And, uh, well, let's see what we do. I'm gonna get that off. Does the door clip off? If it does, does it fall apart? Does the front of the door come off is the other option? Let's see. I certainly went to town on screws. And I made this little, little deal. Oh, there's a couple more here under some stupid, under some stupid uh, plasticky things. This one ain't sharp, but. Like, I get it, it looks neater, but sticky, labelly things. They won't go on again, those things, but. Oh. So it is. Two more screws. 
I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. There it is, that's something clicking off there. Like, I don't mind taking all this apart because I would like to clean it. Is this going to snap off? Pop off? Can't see much in there. Ow, it's sore. Another screw's hiding. I don't see where it would be. It's a screw, not plastic. Just there's a lot more other screws in there. What is popping this? Whoa! There we go. Something popped there. Can't quite see what it is. I think this guy has to come inwards. Or just break it off like that. Okay. I'm sure that thing costs fifty quid if you try to buy it. Now where are we? I wonder, am I just faffing around here? And would this plastic fascia just snap off? Have I missed something here? Two screws at the handle. Which is where it's likely to snap off if I could if I could get it to snap the rest of the way. But it kind of goes into here. What is going on? This thing's and it looks like it's snapped on here as well. I don't think this there's a rubber seal there that I'm going to damage. Maybe I'm not going to damage it. Maybe it's already damaged. Maybe you get access to that from below. Yeah, there's a screw right in up in upside up in there. All right. I would prefer to do this with the machine out, but. So, so that's that. Is there any more of those screws hiding? Could be. That thing is completely cracked. Let's get a blunt ish screwdriver. It's just well rounded off now. Does this go in here? said in previous videos it's broken so it's not gonna get any more broken doesn't mean I want to break it like you know but uh, let's try it around the edge here there's a bit of give in that oh dear I hate those snapping plastic noises Right, okay. What's that? What can I see? A few more pops to do over this backside here. Looks like all the wiring's on the inner door, so that's a good thing from my point of view. How do these come off? They're just clicked. Snapped. Oh, it's just like there's two layers of plastic here as well. Oh, yikes! That's an interlock there of some kind. Or a sensor or something. Oh, I didn't need to take that apart. I'll snap it back shut again. It's still dripping at me. Get this in at the bottom. Whoa, there we go. Right, any more? Oh, we're off. That's, uh, well, that's just the clip, the clip thing. Yikes. So I didn't need to take off the door seal, didn't need to take off the top, didn't need to do anything other than take off three screws, one over here somewhere, and the two either side of the door handle, and then snippety snap, you're out. Okay. Now, this is all full crud down here. There's a drain hole, it looks actually to be in, not in the packs, but uh, not, not leaking. Now I could screw that back together, because that doesn't need to be apart. I might like to wash it a bit better. I think they were a bit enthusiastic with putting soap in it. It's a funny complaint when it comes to keeping things clean, but it does seem to make a difference. Right. Start by rolling it over somewhere. And then continue. I'll put this back on. Snap. There we go. There's a little arrow here, let me show you. 
down here on this, and that's where this was before, but that's, it's not for this, I don't think. I think it's for the door. I'm just to line up. It's probably better to do this with a screwdriver than I do it by hand. And be careful you don't pierce that rubber door seal, that's it back on. Right. That wasn't too bad. Now, what's going on with this door? Power's coming in down here through a cable through the hinge running along zigzagging in a wire that's a bit loose tuck it back in there's a clip there but it doesn't do anything it's just the snap of the door wire comes up here there's some kind of a sensor four five what four five wires two reds blue black and white over here two reds and a yellow. So this is some kind of a sensor for that little inner door and it just seems to be a switch actually is all I'd say. Very loosely connected little push button deal there. And this one again feels like a micro switch it may well be. I don't want to get into them. They're um they're working and I don't want to break them. If I've ever thought about putting electronics into a door. Now if you wanted to replace this of course I don't know how you do it, you'd have to get inside the machine and that's probably a much bigger job. So that's, well, I don't know, like all this guy needed who threw this machine out, all he really needed was a new um, front fascia, ex, uh, what does it call it, assembly. Or even just the inner thingy assembly. So let's get up on the bench and try and destroy this. So this glass would come off. I'm up on the bench, you know that. I've got a towel down to stop it getting everything destroyed. We took one screw out from underneath there. You can see it's all grim. That's all grim. That's just a big fancy hinge mechanism, really. That screw here should let this piece of plastic snap out. How am I gonna do that without wrecking it? I've already gouged a hole in it. I need something fatter, like a big fat screwdriver. Two, two for the price of one. If it doesn't break the glass first. Do you think this has a thing in it that goes twing? That's just a bracket. Put this back together. This holds this on. I have a feeling there's a spring in here that's going to... Will that come off the end? To let this jiggle out? Does that go into the end? Maybe press it in. It does not help that this is all up with snots. Now is there any screws hiding? Can I get this guy off? I think this is like a... without breaking it. It's like one of those toilet seat hinge things, you know? Oh dear, I don't like that sound. It's just this inner piece of plastic. You get a picture of it there. Oh no, that's... oh that's another piece. This is broken. Another piece coming forward from the top to the bottom. Oh dear, I hate doing this. I hate taking plastics apart. Because they're definitely not meant to be taken apart. I don't know if you can see anything now, what I'm doing. Oh, it sounded like plastic coming apart going back together again. Oh, okay, so that, that slots in there. Right. If I take out these six, seven screws around there, I think it just releases this plastic bubble and the seal with. Now, maybe that would be a thing to clean, so maybe I'll do that. Sometimes a bit of peace. Now, what's, what's going on here? Right, so that does, the, that's nothing much. I'll give that a clean one way or the other. Now, this is, well, it's a lot smaller now. That's something. So this machine anyways, maybe I'll tell you a tale while I'm faffing around in here. This machine was found outside a house. 
Can't make it more broken. What is going on? I really think it's all held together by this one ring in here. Getting that one ring out seems to be the issue. Because it's well snapped on if snapping is what's done to it. I called to the house and said, pardon me, I notice you have a washing machine in your front garden. To which the answer was, would you like it or something to that effect. Is that the same stuff in and out? Because I press that and it pushes the other side outwards. Oh, I can see the cracked plastic here. This is when exploded diagrams are probably a good thing, but... So this gets slapped with the laundry every time it goes around and then the water was running into this hole, this hole here. I have a feeling if I could push that in and pop that above out. But I say that and it's not working. <laughs> now I wouldn't mind getting this grey fascia off the, the blue fascia. There's a grey a grey ring and a blue ring. I could try a bit of that and see if that encourages me. that it just snaps off but it's easier said than done no maybe not maybe it's easy it's just grey tabs <gasps> put my finger in it not pleasant now get back out there To stay up. Right. And the door handle side here is another piece. I feel like that's the last one to come out. You see what I'm doing at all. I'm not sure that it's not snapped on the inside as well, somehow. No, it doesn't. Mm, might be. I feel like I have to get that. Oh, oh dear. I don't know. It feels like I might have to get the bowl glass out first via this nonsense up here. It sounded like breaking this, but it's already broken. Whoa! Right, well, well, that looks, that's a part. Okay, so we've got one more part off. Right, that, that came off. Where did that come off? In there. Oh, look, screws! Oh, there we go. I'll be getting somewhere. You see that? Three screws. Best one in the world if there's screws. Without getting them out. Something feels looser now. How's that going? Three screws went into here. Right. Is that helping? Better be. This side's completely broken, so I don't even know what's holding it. Oh, I hate that noise. Another screw? What? There's another screw in there. How do you even get to that? Unless this lower plastic here pops off. God, this is in the world. Unless this plastic here inside pops off. Ugh, it's filthy. And then, this is where we are. 
This thing's in bits. Right, another four screws. One. Two. I'm gonna need a handle screwdriver. This is where it all starts to fall apart, really, because this is where there's no real way to get it back together now, I'd say. But screws. And what I thought was maybe you could put a avoid the ad wash thing, override those two safety catches, and somehow put look at all these little bits of broken plastic now. Oh good. Oh, there we go. Right. Right. Well, this 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 piece here, it's kind of okay, I guess. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Yikes. Eight screws. Rubber seal. That. That's just stuck. It's not bonded. Gross. That, that, <laughs> oh, that's a real nightmare. So, oh, well, no, I haven't broken it, so I don't need to. That, that hole in the door is cut out. It's, that's, it's not sharp, but it's, it's not molded. That's cut out. So that is a lot of work to make. I've been at this half an hour and that evening is not coming back to me now. So this gray would never have split from that anyway. So now we've got to get these ones out. They're rusted away to development. Why use a mix of stainless and super rust, soft tapping? At least they're coming out. Oh dear. So that's the hinge held on from the rear. I'm gonna get this bit off. Still got a couple of screws. That one's probably rung off in itself. Maybe I have to take off this hinge as well. Doesn't want to come off. It's well in there. I haven't a hope of getting this back together. <laughs> I really don't. There's one screw still in over this side. One screw still in. Don't know what that's about. I have a feeling this needs to come apart. So that goes back to this thing. This was a warranty repair, and they just sent out a new machine. It wasn't a repair, that's what I mean, it's a warranty replacement. Samsung, or whoever represents Samsung, thought it would be easier. Easier just to send out a new machine than to send someone out. And I can see why, because even the taking a part of the machine to get this, you know, what is then an expensive part back in, will be a waste of money for them. Sometimes when the camera's not on, that's when the magic really happens. 
So, I'll try and recap. I was poking away at this rubber gum thing down here to try and see the code. And it says, as, as ad wash PJI cover add in DC 63 01945AX001 Lee Jin Ho 2015 AW01. That's probably ad wash. You can't read that at all, can you? AW01 A1. 1x 1x 2-1 PETG PETG suggests it's some kind of polyethylene rather than ABS you see the way PETG is within these kind of backwards parentheses likewise ABS here cover glass ABS no good but while I was in there I saw that there was this metal plate completely rusty where's it gone over here which is the screw retaining plate with that out this door just falls off like rolls out Arr, that would have made life a lot easier earlier on now it should be possible for this piece to fall out like that which is the piece that we have an issue with and it should also be possible for me to split this glass not glass front cover plate thing so I made a mess of everything but I have power washed it but it would be easier now to clean it if this was all apart oh, I've got my phone caught in it there we go come on up come on up don't worry about it now get out of there Everything's tricky. There we go. That's that one. Next one. You let something down and they all snap back together. But there we go. And this one over here. There we go. And that one's out. Hopefully it'll lift off from it. Uh, something snapped there. What was what was that? What was that? What, what was that? Oh, that that felt like it was breaking. Oh, there's another little one in there. God, they make this difficult. else I'm, I'm something i can't see and i don't know where it is it's stopping this coming apart oh dear right tada that's that's actually power washed pretty well from from outside and it's all intact and uh that'll dry up nicely bit of soap scum down the bottom there but not a big deal. Have I been at this for I've been at this for an hour and a half, I'd say, between on and off camera. Awfully chintzy old pieces of plastic. So that one's ABS, it didn't break. PET, what was it? PETG, was it? Right, that's what I wanted to get into because it's kind of semi open well it is it's clear, you could see through that. They've got rust. Broken plastic there and there. Now oh, there's something oh, it's on the outside up there. Like one element of it is getting it clean, and the other element is getting it repaired and back together. Now, PETG, was it? PETG. I'm gonna have to look that up. And all of the um, oh, bollocks. <laughs> all of the screw things all around. So if I can get an adhesive like Tech Seven or oh, sugar, look, more of it's just fallen off my hand. I don't know if it likes the heat. Maybe.
That looks like a crack, but it's a molding line. The crack's further in. Look. I'll look this up, see what I can do. I don't think I'm gonna get one of these. I don't think you can buy one of them without the rest of the door attached to it. We can, you never know. The kind of thing I could be pleasantly surprised about. I'm not holding my breath. All right, tidy up for today. So it's the next day. I think this video is going to be too long. So here's the part that uh, I got out yesterday. I've given it a second wash indoors. Had a look at the part code. You can buy them online. They're 45 quid plus delivery, I guess. I'm not going to do that. You can see there's a tube of silicone there. I've got the Dremel out. I'm going to have a go at gobbing this back together. Hopefully discreetly, but with a lot of silicone or this stuff, CT1. I've only got brown. I'm not going to spend any money on this. That will all be in part two. You can probably click through to it right now, depending on when you're watching the video. Questions or comments on the disassembly, which really I think was the trickiest part, although looking at the pieces spread out in front of me, I don't know how they go back together. <laughs> Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.